Hey guys, it's Mark, and today I'm going to be showing you a program that will allow you to customize your Windows 10 settings. This program also works on Windows 7, Windows 8, and I believe 8.1, and it will probably work on the upcoming Windows 11 as well. The program is called WinArrow Tweaker. It allows you to customize your computer settings. Now to get the program, it's a free program by the way, but the creators do take donations. So just Google Win Arrow Tweaker. Then you want to click on download. And this is the download page. So you want to go scroll down to the bottom. As you can see there, the creators take donations. But here is the download link. You want to click on that. Now, I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to re-download it. It's a zip file, but, you know, it's easy to extract. And, and once you get it downloaded, you just go. It, there's I have it installed on my desktop, so go to wherever you had it installed, and you can open it up. And this is the WinArrow Tweaker version. 0.19.10 Now, this is interesting. I think this is a bug because this is not an insider preview, but it's saying Windows 10 insider preview, which it's, it's not an insider, that there's my all the information about my system, and here are some changes that I made to my system already. Now, as you can see, I just downloaded this the other day. <laughs> So, I disabled telemetry, which is basically, if you don't know, it it's things that Windows uses to, to track you, basically spying on you. If you don't want that, you can disable it. And let's see, another big one. You can see here, down here, win, disable Windows updates, which I've done. Now, I'm not anti-computer Windows updates. But I like to be in control of when I install those updates. So you can see I have it disabled. So let's go down here and just type in check for updates. And see, and as you can see there, it won't it won't run, which is nice. But when you're ready to install updates, then you can just hit this check mark and it should work as normal. So yeah, guys, I mean what this program basically does, it goes into the registry and, you know, it does edits within the registry. And if you're not tech savvy, you don't want to go into the registry yourself because because that's how you can pretty much damage your, your Windows 10 software, you know, disable the, not disable, but damage the operating system. And you can see here I have things like PowerShell as administrator, SFC scan now. This, I d and this, the insider page, this basically just allows you to, you know, if you have no interest in joining the Windows Insider program, you can just have, it, have that option removed from your computer. But yeah, and things like, like activate Windows Photo Viewer, which I have done. The old Windows Photo Viewer. So let's just say I want to go see. Where did I put that? Yeah, here we go. So let's say I wanted to open this picture with the old Photo Viewer. Now it's an option for me because I've done that within WinArrow Tweaker. And it works. Should. <laughs> oh, there it is. Just took a second to load. That's the old photo viewer. So yeah, and the Mark Talk podcast might be coming back, guys. Which is why I have that. It was a show I did last year. But, but anyway, not to get sidetracked. So yeah, this is a great tool. But you don't want to go in here and just mess with stuff if you have no idea what it does or, you know, you're not tech savvy and you don't know what you can do. But, you know, basic sense, this is good for adjusting 
stuff like you can enable a startup sound if you want and you know this thing here ads unwanted which I also have disabled ads in Windows 10 you can, and everything you know it has a description of what everything does so if you're not sure about something you know read the description but if you're not tech savvy I wouldn't recommend going into your and just start messing with things if you don't know what you're doing because that's another good way you can damage your operating system so yeah you know things like this Windows update which is different from disable Windows update I'll show you why in a second and SFC scan now kill not respond in tasks that's what all these are if you go into your desktop and you right click See, you see all the settings that I have now. So say, for example, if I wanted, if I had Windows updates enabled, I want to run it. So going to the menu, I can just, with two clicks, bam, and there, there's the Windows update if I had it activated. SFC Scan L, which is the program that, that scans your Windows 10 files that it used to create the operating system and basically it it repairs any corrupted files within the operating system which is a great program to run if for some reason your Windows 10 is not working properly and I use um, Windows PowerShell a lot so I just made myself a shortcut for that if you're not tech savvy you know don't know what PowerShell is I really wouldn't mess with it. And then kill not respond tasks. Now this is one of my things I like, one of my favorite features, because what it does is basically it it kills any not responding tasks in the background or you know or on your computer. All you have to do is click it and it will run. Now in this situation there are no not unresponding tasks, so it couldn't find anything to shut down and stop. So yeah, you know, that's basically just guys a look of Win Arrow Tweaker. It's a great little software to have. There's a lot I can do, you know, disable telemetry, disable Windows updates, change the picture of your wallpaper quality. I mean, yeah, change the quality of your wallpaper picture. And there's a whole bunch of other things in here. You know, disable Windows error reporting, which I forgot I did that. It's kind of a set in there. So say if there's a problem with your computer and, you know, I'm sure you've all seen it, where it wants to report, you know, the problem to Microsoft. But, you know, personally, I've never seen this help anybody, so I just decided to just turn it off because I didn't see the point in it. There's just a ton of other things in here you can do so yeah guys you know if you guys just wanted to you know tweak around your system tweak your system and you know make it more customized to how you want it to run instead of what Microsoft tells you to do I think this is a great program again it's free and now I should mention a lot of these programs will ask you to basically sign out of your account and then sign back in or restart your computer entirely so yeah you know just do everything at once when you're doing it and then when you're finished tweaking your system to the way you want it then you can restart your computer and the changes will take effect I will leave a link to this program the download page in the description and if you guys like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe. I really appreciate it. It would help the channel out a lot. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for now. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time.